So, since we have a weapon, well, let's actually add some weapons way to this. So, I'm going to create an empty object and I'm going to call this weapon parent. Okay, and that's where we're going to add the sway. I'm just going to parent this empty, uh, this weapon for now. Doesn't matter. And we're going to go on to our transform. We're going to add sign public transform weapon parent. Okay, let's collapse everything. And let's go down here. Let's create some regions. First of all, let's call this footsteps. Okay, and let's call this proc animation actually, procedural animations. So down here, let's go and write our weapon square logic. So void handle weapon sway float delta. Now we need to have a factor amount, so um, how much we are moving on the x and a factor amount on the y. Then we need to have mouse sensitivity value let's say public flow sensitivity or sway sensitivity let's say 10 so our factor x will be a lerp between what we previ previously had so we're smoothing it with our mouse x minus because we want the opposite way by our sensitivity plus our horizontal amount so how much we're moving horizontal on the opposite way because we want to go on the opposite way and that will be let's say public flow sway lerp speed I'm going to set it to one and we're going to do delta by sway left speed okay then factor y same thing factor y factor y with mouse y minus the vertical by delta by sway left speed as well so we need a minimum or maximum uh, amount for both of these well first of all let's create a header for sway let's create a header for footsteps or head bob see so okay so we have factor x factor uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay so we need a minimum amount public float sway or x sway move amount let's say 10 for now and we need a y sway move amount then factor x will use mathf.clamp factor x minus x sway movement by x sway movement then our factor y factor y sway movement sway movement okay then we need to calculate a target position for our sway so vector 3 target position equals vector 3 vector 3.0 vector x factor y 
then our target position dot x will be start position oh we need to save the start position though well i think start position should be zero so will there not be factor x let's try factor x target position dot y then it's going to be factor y then that's for moving yeah okay then hmm. let me think we have that then we need to use the weapon parent to transfer dot position equals well actually weapon parent dot local position equals weapon parent dot local position well vector three dot lerp weapon parent dot local position to the target position and all that by uh, delta subdivide by some speed which we want to have sway let speed let's do public float sway move speed okay uh, let's drop this inside update and that should take care of movement but we still want to rotate also our our weapon okay let's see do we have the weapon parent the weapon parent is here we of course going to use the weapon parent to actually parent the actual weapons obviously okay good enough <laughs> no of course not good enough we need to fix the sway move amount even one is too much so let's do point one and point one okay sway move speed let's do point two okay i think on the y we could live without any because we already have the head bob okay and the point one is way too much so let's do point five yeah that gives it some logic yeah that gives it gives it some life already okay values are good we're going up and down okay so i'm just going to leave this to 0 0.01 so it's almost next to nothing and point zero maybe three sway move speed i'm going to set this to point two and let's maybe set this to point five sensitivity is what get multiplied for for this so let's try yeah that's actually good enough i think our, we only need to set up some weapon sway some tilt onto the weapon and call it a day for this part as well now mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so let's see what do we need for this we need a tilt value we need a rotate amount for this I believe we'll see okay so let's say that we start with this with 45 then we need to find the tilt of our weapon so that will be float tilt around 
z mouse x multiply by our data mount float tilt around x mouse y by rotate amount and tilt around y again uh, we had this x y okay and that will be mouse x by rotate amount we might want to add some more let's create the angles and that will be target tilt We'll start as vector 3.0 and of course target tilt dot x can just be right away this target tilt dot y can be this and z actually z is this mouse y and y is this oops okay let's delete that so we have mouse x mouse x by rotate amount and then we're going to do a whip on parent dot local rotation equals quaternion is lerp weapon parent local rotation quaternion dot oilers target tilt and all that by a smooth value for the rotation so that will need to create that smooth or tilt sway speed and let's set this to 0.4 Let's break this down. Let's break this down even more. And then we have delta by tilt sway speed and all that. Perfect. So let's give this a shot. Don't know how it's going to look. We'll see. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> now the problem is, is actually, yeah, I think we're going too much. Okay, so let's take a look. First of all, which sways do we need? We need him to go on the X, no. We need him to go on the Z, no. We cannot need him to go both on this, or can both this way I think it has to do with the pivot as well so I'm going to try uh, let's see where the pivot of this is I'm going to try and parent this onto instead of the weapon parent I'm going to make it to be relevant to the weapon itself okay that did that break uh, almost everything let's see why this is though oh yeah it is because we have the camera a little bit below okay ignore that let's just use the weapon parent instead and let's try and fix the rotate amount let's say you only want to rotate by one Yeah, that's actually not bad. I see some p some clipping happening, or at least I can notice it, but I don't know if it's from this way. Uh, let's set this to one, so it's not that fast. Yeah, that's actually not bad at all. That's fine. Let's maybe give it like 
two degrees more. And yeah, okay, I can live with it. I don't know if we are, if the clamping, however, it's coming from ours, from our, like I see some jerkiness happening. Yeah, it is coming from this way, I believe. Although, it doesn't really look like that. Okay, let's uh, leave this to 1.2 or even 2. Maybe it's from the rotation of the camera, not from this way. Okay, 2 is too much, I guess. So I'm just going to leave this at one and actually call it a day because I think this is fine for what it is. Maybe let's change the, the sway is a little bit too big. So let's set this to 0 0.05. Okay, so that's it for this part. We now also have a working Sway script. And as you can see, we have tailored so many actions onto our controller, which is pretty much almost like having a working controller. We are missing the animations on the weapons, of course, but that's something we um, have a secret for you there. We're going to do something in the future for that. So that's it for today. Uh, that's it for this part. As always, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and if you like to see more stuff, more videos, more series, more of everything, then of course consider supporting me on Patreon so we can keep continuing making all of these nice things we're making. I'll see you next time. <laughs>